In the early days, in the early 20th century, mid 20th century, forensic anthropology developed sort of by, I won't say as an accident, but as an application of what physical anthropologists of the day were doing with regard to understanding human skeletal biology from archeological sites around the United States, as well as in several areas where anatomy labs were focused on skeletal biology as well. Those in particular were in Cleveland, Ohio, St. Louis, Missouri, and in Washington, DC. And of course, one cannot separate the history of physical anthropology without sort of thinking about the way in which the biological race concept was rooted very firmly in the discipline, where the early thinkers of the day thought that there were distinctions, biologically based distinctions between people who would we would refer to as black, white, whatever taxonomic label we would use or whatever folk taxon taxonomic label we think about. And so there was this assumption that there were skeletal differences between different groups of people. That assumption was embedded into the practice of the discipline from the get-go. When forensic or when the early physical anthropologists looked at skeletons in forensic contexts or contexts where people were unidentified, they looked at the skeleton to provide whatever information they could. We call this today the biological profile. And that profile are the attributes of the skeleton, like a person's age, how old they were, how tall they were, their biological sex, et cetera. But in addition, there's this other component, this fourth component of the biological profile that in the early days and for much of the 20th century was called race. And people thought that you could look at skeletons and provide some kind of determination or estimation as to a person's um, racial identity. And this was done in many different ways in terms of the tools that were used uh, regarding uh, the techniques that the early folks used. But I think it's really difficult to get at this question without recognizing that it's really from the beginning that the estimation of race, as it was called for most of the discipline's history, was just part of physical anthropology and therefore by extension was part of forensic anthropology or what became to be known as forensic anthropology.